Now Lil Terry got a gun he got from the store He bought it with the money he got from his chores He robbed the candy shop, told her lay down on the floor Put the cookies Hey guys, um, what I'm going to show you today is a small, simple tool to help with your keywords or your PPC campaign when you use Google AdWords or Yahoo Search Marketing or MSN AdWords or AdCenter. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is just a simple way to group your keywords and figure out which one you should use. As you should know, you shouldn't be using a lot of keywords. I tend to use maybe less than 150 or less than 100. I want to be as closely targeted to my niche as possible. The more specific, the better. Um, it's better chance of the user or end user of purchasing or buying something through your affiliate system or going through the site and actually converting. Um, having too many keywords, you can actually lose money. Some people out there tend to use more than 500 keywords, which is not good because it's either too broad, you're spending too much money on it, and you don't know if that person's actually going to be buying or converting to a purchase. So, right now, I'll be showing you how to use the Google Keywords. And let's say we want to look at something. It's the holidays. We'll look at Christmas gifts and Christmas ornaments. Let's see. Okay. Now you see here with Google keywords system, um, it gives you four, co uh, three columns: the advertisers competition, very high; last month search volume, and average search volume. Right now, Google gives you about 150 keywords altogether, or a little bit more. Um, what I do here is I'll export all these keywords to an, an Excel file, and from there I'll go ahead and work with it, because since these are numbers in Excel, they'll actually give me a good estimate of the competition, etc. Um, since it's only December and, I, and we're looking at Christmas gifts, we're going to be ha go ahead and take a look at the average of the average search volume and the advertised competition. Okay, this is okay to use, but not it shouldn't be solid use because you take an average of an average, um, but I actually want to see the average search volume, overall search volume, versus the competition. So, let's see. <laughs> Go ahead and add a filter. And anything that's a one, I usually tend to delete because those are high competitions, and you're going to be make, you're going to be spending a lot more money for them uh, per click. So. Let's see, this is all we have for these keywords, okay? But now, we have these search volumes, and if they're above, for me, I look for anything less than 0 0.6 or 0 0.5. Um, it'll give me a better chance of getting the search volume for this month, uh, an overall search volume, the popularity of it, and a little bit of the competition, okay? Um, so, so far, let's see. If this is less than point, let's say point six, and I only have. Let's see here. Go back to filtering. So far, I only have three good keywords that I can use. Okay, and we can go ahead and take these keywords again, put these in the keyword tool and see if we get any more keywords. Okay, we have more keywords here. And I'll just go ahead and go through the process over again. Same thing here. I'll go ahead and organize. Equals average. be getting rid of everything that's a one. We have less less competition with this one. And let's see here. These are keywords. If this is less than 0 0.6, tell me if it's true. Let's see. Oops. Mm. 
and there we go. We have more keywords. We have about 77 keywords. This would actually be good for me, and I'll probably want to go ahead and use this for my PPC campaign. This is good because everybody will be searching these specific keywords overall. So it was an average. Since Google gave us an average volume, and the competition, which is, which takes into effect the average search volume. So even though this is this is an average of an average, it's still a good use to get me or provide me good keywords. Um, with that said, there's a lot of things you can do with Excel when you export everything out of Google AdWords keyword tool into Excel since everything is words. And since everything's numeric, you can go ahead and make your own graphs graph. Um, if you know all the CPC or PPC uh, formulas, you can go ahead and create your own. Um, other than that, this is a good tool to use, good uh, way to try to get more targeted keywords, get more keyword limitations, etc. Um, other than that, hope this information was useful and thanks for watching guys.